So lately I've been looking around my room and thinking I feel like I need to show a video of all my plant pots that I've made previously uh, before I start moving on to things I'm going to build in the future or currently building on right now. Uh, so I did bring all my plant pots down to my dining room table and I'm just going to give you a quick little tour and give a little backstory on where I got all the plants from and where and when I made the plant pots as well. So this is one of the first plant pots that I actually ever made. I made this my first semester of junior year in college when I had just transferred to a new university and it was my first time in the um, pottery studio. I'm a liar actually, this was my second semester of junior year because the first semester I was mainly doing um, on the wheel and then I moved to hand building. So when I got into hand building, I did a lot of coil building, which you'll see in a lot of these plant pots. And I got to the point where I was really liking kind of like the ribbed texture, where if you coil things and then you smooth it out, there's still kind of like a little undertone of what looks like human ribs in a way. Uh, so I really fell in love with like that type of mixture of the human body kind of coming into my plant sculptures, uh, plant pot sculptures. So this is my first one. Uh, this is a, a petunia cactus, which is commonly known as the prickly pear cactus. It's native in a lot of spots, I think, in the United States. When I got it, it was just this bottom section, and then it just started immediately putting up these shoots. Uh, so there's they've grown like a couple tiers on them since I've gotten it, and there's even new blooms happening on almost all four of these top sections. So I'm excited to see by the end of this year, like how tall I can get it. The first plant pot that I ever made though, was this one right here. This uh, was like probably the reason why I fell in love with making plant pots is because I realized that they didn't always have to look the exact same. Um, I don't know why I said that. I think to this day, this still is probably maybe my favorite plant pot. I just really enjoy the coiling details that I did on the outside. Uh, it was kind of like a last minute idea I had right before the clay was getting too dry to add anything to it. I think what I really enjoy about it is it almost looks like there's like the vines from the plants are coming out of the pot or going into it. Um, but right now I have this philodendron micans in plant pot, it's doing okay. I think it could be doing a bit better, but um, I just recently got it right before this winter, so I think it just needs a spring bloom to kind of get it back to life. And right now it's looking basically like a side ponytail, um, so I need to kind of like get it to be filled back out. Um, originally this had a ZZ plant uh, in it, uh, and I took it out. I kind of regret it, but at the same time, both look beautiful. Uh, this is my first attempt at making like a sculptural plant pot. I kind of will try to show all the sides. I have a Monstera, a Monstera Deliciosa inside of the plant pot and I do realize that in time this is definitely going to die, unfortunately, this plant. With the design properties with plant pots, you have to be pretty specific to make sure that the plant pot's going to thrive for years to come. Otherwise, there is going to become a point where five, ten years max, like the plant pot is just easily going to outgrow this. Um, and this one has a shape where the roots are going to grow this way, and I don't think I'm going to be able to get the roots back out, so I'm probably going to have to cut and propagate this in order to keep it alive for future use. I should definitely make more of these. Just with a better design, for sure. These are two plants I got gifted from, from my friend Amy from college. Uh, Amy was with me at the beginning when I started getting into plants very heavily and was the sweetest person ever and gave me five little like starter plants to have. Um, and I will always, I will always cherish these things. Um, and so far I've only killed one. So Amy, if you're watching, thank you uh, for the plants. And uh, I really like how they turned out. And this one has like a saucer I built with it where I put some like agates or rocks that I have, um, kind of like 
just as decoration to fill the empty space too. By this stage, I was definitely just like mass producing things. Um, I really liked the look of the ribbing without smoothing it. I actually preferred. So I tried a lot of variations with that. I have my philodendron, philodendron deja vu right here. <laughs> and uh, my ZZ plant right here, which like I said earlier, was like the first plant that got me into um, getting a lot of plants. This one might be, well, there's some water. <laughs> this one might be my favorite if it's not the one that has a bunch of like coils on the outside. This plant that's inside is, I think, the sun in India, it's called. And one day I'd love for it to turn into this ginormous tree that's in my house. Uh, but I didn't have hundreds of dollars to buy one of those yet, so I just decided to just start my own and wait years to get there. Uh, but this plant pot, I think I've done two or three firings, glaze firings with this one. So it originally was like this green color that I didn't really love too much. So then I did a black coat over it, and then it created this really nice, like almost like snake skin pattern. I'll get a close up of it, um, but I really enjoyed it, and I thought it kind of contrasted really nicely with the Song of India. Okay, you can call me basic, but I love pothos. Like I find them to be super easy plants to take care of, super easy growing plants, and also just. Like they're okay if you leave them alone for a few weeks by accident. I don't know, I just, I love them. I definitely plan on buying more of them in the future. Uh, this one I have in just like a white ribbed plant pot, but it's grown significantly since I uh, originally bought this. I'll insert like a picture of what this plant looked like originally. Um, but one thing with making your own ceramic work that always makes me nervous is is it the product gonna work i don't want to ever like sell things or use things if it's just gonna like kill the plants um <laughs> but with plants i'm noticing my plant pots are really working well and almost all of my plants have new growth um and have just almost like doubled the growth since I put them in these plant pots even too. Another plant pot sculpture that I tried making at university was this one. Um, this is a Mammillaria elongata cactus, or I think it's commonly known as the ladyfinger cactus. Um, but I think the original name sounds just like a drag name, so I just had to say that one. Um, <laughs> but anyway, I think this sculpture turned out okay. I think if you know ceramics well, you can kind of tell, like, it drooped in the firing. I had to put this, I think, through a couple different firings. So at one point it just fully broke apart in this tough section that had a lot of pressure on it. This Birds of Paradise uh, plant pot setup, I like. Uh, I think I need to explore more with it. Uh, this one itself is a little bit messy looking, um, but it's a nice concept. Uh, it's easy for watering because I fit like a six inch, I don't know what these are called, saucers, plant saucers, um, to collect the water when it drips through so that way uh, there's like a easy like drainage inside um, but I will say it's definitely like I said not the neatest thing I've ever made in my life <laughs> since graduating from college I've been more focused on smaller things so I've been making more like pinch pot type of plant pots for small items uh, I also been really into propagating lately so about a few months back I started this propagation. I don't know the name of this plant. I love it. I think it's so weird looking. I've just been really into making smaller things so that way when I'm in these smaller spaces at home, um, I can kind of fit more and don't feel as stressed by like all these plants taking over my room because sometimes it does get to be a lot. <laughs> I definitely had a lot more I could show, but this is already taking a long time, and 
I think I should just stop it there. Uh, I'll have a lot more to show in the future of what I'm currently working on and this summer when it's warmer and there's time to buy plants, I'll definitely be making more plant pots. So I will update you in the future when there is needing updating and thank you for watching the video if you made it this far. Hopefully you got inspired by some of this or in the future you'll be one of my clients buying, buying one of my products. So. Thank you for watching again. Uh, have a great rest of your day and bye.